any do tutorial step by step for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with any do a simple to-do list to manage everything all at once may it be your personal project college university school work or your team you can do it all on any do so to get started, simply head on over to any.do and click on get started. It's free. You can get started for free without having to provide any type of card info on the AnyDo application. Simply provide your details such as your email address and create a suitable password for your AnyDo account. So we're going to be headed towards our sign in on AnyDo. While we do that, we are also going to take a look at the pricing. So if you want to upgrade the features of AnyDo with different features such as recurring tasks, WhatsApp reminders, AI powered features, color tags, and location reminders, you can get started for only $2 per month. Or if you choose monthly billing, it is going to be around $6. Then you have the family plan, which allows you a shared family space for upwards of four members, where you can create a shared grocery list, shared project, as well as everything in the premium version, and then a Teams version for more business-oriented people. That allows you to create collaborative workspaces, unlimited project boards, team members, as well as over a hundred workflow templates and administrative tools and permissions. Now to get started, we are just going to be using our Google account to sign up on the AnyDo application. Click on continue over here to continue on to AnyDo. Now, once we have done that, we can just proceed with our basic onboarding. So whether you're going to be working alone or with other people. After that, you can add your first task, which I'm going to skip for now. And then we're just going to click on no thanks over here. And now this is going to be your AnyDo dashboard. Now on the left, you're going to find a my day section. So you will see good night, Lily, remove doubts with action, connect your calendar, watch your my day tutorial and create your first list. Then you have the next seven days in my calendar. And you do basically put in the first four tasks as your basic onboarding. So firstly, we're going to click on connect your calendar. And to do that, we can click on my calendar on the left and then click on connect Google Calendar. From here, I'm going to choose my Google account that I want to use to link to my calendar and then click on select all. From here, I will click on continue and this will link to my Google Calendar. The reason why you have to link to your Google Calendar is because if you don't, where are you going to put in these tasks? Because sometimes when you are browsing on your phone, you're not going to open up any do, you're just going to open up your Google Calendar. And with this sync, this will actually sync up all your info, all your tasks, meetings from any do into your actual Google Calendar as well. Now, after that, you can watch their tutorial. You can create your first task as well as add me to my day. Now, we're going to get started with our first task list. And before that, we can see on the left, we have different tags and a my list section. So there are three lists created by default, which are, which are the personal lists as well as work and grocery lists. You can go on ahead and open any list and click on these three dots to archive these default lists if they are not applicable to you like this. Now from here, I have one list, which I'm going to rename for I by doing a double click on the top left and this is going to be notes now what do i mean when i add a notes tab well what this will do is that this will allow me to add random tasks that i see throughout the day now what i'm going to do is that if i think of an idea so let's say i have an idea for a story on laptops laptop prices like this so i can just add that task over here now you can provide more details about that particular task as well as write an actual note about it. Click to add a particular reminder or date and you can also add a hashtag and these hashtags can help you in organizing your tasks. So 
I can add a hashtag for all of the work related tasks I have or all of the things that are low priority, high priority or need to be finished by a certain time, which can help you in just organizing everything. So let's say I add a task, which is going to be, let's say I want to watch Bridgerton. I don't know the spellings, but we're going to add that as a note like this. And then we add Bridgerton over here. We can add this as a hashtag and we can choose priorities or we can create our own tags on the premium version of any do as well. Now, after that, you can add a reminder. You can add notes in your task. So story on laptop prices. Let's say I have a rough idea of tech in our industry and then rising tech costs or whatever I want to talk about in that particular story. Below that, I can add any subtask or attachment. And on the top right, I can click on add to my day. Now, the my day section on the AnyDo application allows you to plan out your day. So you can add how long you can estimate how many tasks you can do in a day. And then you can add them to your my day section so you can actually have your day planned out for you now i'm gonna firstly change the background on this because i don't like blue i really like pink so i'm going to be choosing this background and i'm going to wait for that to be applied now once completed i can proceed with my next list simply by clicking on the plus icon on the left and for this this is going to be my university list like so and then after that, I can add a task. So let's say I have to uh, enlist in a summer course like this. So I can just add that over here and add more info about the task. And I can add multiple tasks. So let's say I have to build an assignment on Freud like this. So after that, you can just add more details as you go. And it will display the number of tasks that each individual list has as well. Now, for your tasks, you can also choose to schedule them all in one day, or you can schedule them on different days like this as well. So if you go into the next seven days tab on the top left, you can schedule them for the next week, as well as going into the My Day section will show you all the tasks you have for that particular day. Now, the best part about syncing your Google Calendar with the AnyDo application is that it will also display any of your events that you already have on the Google Calendar. So in case you are already busy, you will already know that with the AnyDo calendar. And you can click on the top left to integrate other applications such as Zapier, WhatsApp, Slack, and Gmail into the AnyDay application. And you can also create new space, set space reminders, as well as set up your preferences accordingly. So if you want to reset the time, as well as set up external suggestions, you can also do that. So you can add Trello, Asana, ClickUp, and sync up your day according to those tools as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to better manage your tasks and your time using the AnyDo app. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.